Welcome to my video today. Today we are redecorating using things I already have. And I'll give you a hint. The first thing we're gonna do has to do with the color red. So let's go in the house. It's really cold out here. And let's get decorating and let me show you some of the projects that I'm working on today. The before and the after. Good morning everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am taking a part of my kitchen and transforming it. Now, when I do these type of transformations, it's to do them without any money. So it's not like I'm buying all these new things and painting. I actually like doing things with things that I have in my own home. I'm shopping from the things in my own home. And here we are making a cherry themed little corner of my kitchen and just making it look a little nicer. This is low income. This is what it's like when you have a lower income. You don't really have the money to buy all new. And this is how it turned out. And I absolutely love it. Didn't cost me nothing. It was things I had in my own home. And this little nook and corner looks so much better. All right, so now we have a few projects that I wanna work on. One of them is, if you remember, I got this curtain and I'm going to be setting up the curtain out in my little cabin. I'm finding different ways that I can decorate out there that's gonna look really nice. Make it look more like a cabin and less like a chicken house. Yes, it was a chicken house, but I converted it into a place where I can dry all of my herbs and I really like it. So I put this curtain up like this and then we're gonna go outside and work on that. But in the meantime, I'm also going to be working on some other projects. And that has to do with matches and turpentine. I have a lot of fires outside in the summer and in the winter time. I cook outdoors and I'm always in the need of matches for in the house, but especially for out. If you dip your matches into turpentine, they will be waterproof. And I do a lot of outside work in the rain. So I will be burning a lot of my cardboard out in the rain and this will be great. I no longer burn anything else, but I do burn sometimes cardboard because I get a lot of boxes because of my business. So we're going to dip it into some turpentine today. We have to let them dry and then we are gonna make our own match proof glass jars with its own strikers. So let me show you how we do this. All right, so this bowl I am actually going to be throwing away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip the matches into the turpentine and then we're gonna let them dry. All right, so even though we're gonna use our own strikers, I am gonna cut this out and put it in a jar just in case I would need them. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and put the striker on the top like this. And that's what it looks like. And we'll go ahead and put on the top of all of them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take one and we'll see how well it works. Just like that. Works perfect. So there you go, everyone. I made the waterproof matches. Now we're gonna label them. And that way I can give probably one of them away as a gift. So let me go ahead and put some labels on them. And now I'm working on a collage that's gonna be perfect as a display in my kitchen. We're gonna be using some of the vintage cookery recipe this is one of the books we're going to be using and then this is the other book. These books are really fun because you can just cut out the pictures. You save on your printer ink. You don't need to worry about printing them out. Let's go ahead and work on this and see how it looks when it's done. All right, now let's put everything together. And 
there you go everyone this is what it looks like and this is my shopping list now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my kitchen where we just decorated in the cherry and in the nice red theme let's go ahead and see where we're gonna put this all right and there's where it is and that's what everything looks like and now we are finished now let's go ahead and see if we can hang up that curtain and I have some laundry to hang up as well We have it finished. It looks so pretty in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on something for the outside of the window. Maybe some shutters or something like that. And the ivy does light up at night. So it is a work in progress in here. I'm still working on it. It's pretty cold right now. So I'm going to have to wait to work further in the spring. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I cannot wait to share with you again tomorrow what we're working on because I have a lot of ideas and I'm having so much fun. Bye everybody! If you notice there's something a little bit different in my videos, I have the behind the camera scenes and a lot of people enjoy watching my videos a little bit longer. So I put these behind the scene, parts of snippets of my video that didn't get public. Well, let me tell you, in this project, I never dreamed it would take me so long to dip all of these matches into this. It was a fun project, but to dip all of the matches took me over an hour. I couldn't believe how long it took, and of course I couldn't put all of this into my video. Who needs an hour-long video of me dipping my matches? But it works amazing, and I hope you give it a try. I don't have a lot of patience and while I do some of these slow living videos they really take me out of my comfort zone because I am somewhat shushlik and that means in Pennsylvania Dutch I'm a haphazard type of person but the older I get the more I am learning that in slow living the slow pace really is good for your body and for your spirit and for your mental health as well so I will continue to dip all of these matches. Thanks for watching today's video. I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye!